Hey there everybody, it's the whole universe, I hope everything is fine, I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and today we're gonna talk about the theory of communication and uh, specifically about my exam on theory of communication in Moscow University and we will have some list of questions that we will talk about, I will try to translate it to you if you are maybe non-Russian, it will be maybe useful for you because you will learn some scientific words, what they mean in a Russian language. Maybe it will be useful for you this way. And if you are maybe someone who is Russian, okay, it will be good for you too, because you can translate it to, to English. Yes, it will be nice. And uh, about uh, also support, thank you for Fia Fiona, who supported me in my previous video. And one more guy, Nazar, I think so, he was writing one more message too. And here is the questions that we have. We have 54 of them, look at them, and we will start from the beginning. Theory of communication, a scientific discipline, history of, history of creation, it is first question. Let's talk about it. How will we do? I will read questions and I will try to answer to you because after four hours, in four hours it will be my exam. By the way, I prepared already two works on this. I prepared a work for my work for sociolinguistics. I send it on my email. I mean that I send it from my email to my recipient. It is my teacher. And also I sent uh, the work on theory of communication. I was doing it in the morning, six o'clock. I was writing already and also yesterday I was doing it for whole day and good. Here is our a little bit of questions. First, a scientific discipline. What's it? What, what is it? It is the theory of how we communicate to each other. You maybe didn't think about it before, but we communicate in a way of like when we kind of do hello, how are you doing, what's new? It is the act of communication. It is the greetings. When we try to ask something, it is asking. It is maybe sometimes requesting. Requesting like when you do it uh, in a way of can you do this, can you do that, or maybe you ask this information. It is asking. And also we have kind of requesting and uh, I mean that we have different things and also we have promising. I, I will do this till this day. I will do this till this time. And it is different acts of communication. And uh, the science of the theory of communication, it is how it is all connected to each other, all types of communication to each other, because we sometimes have dialogues, sometimes we have monologues inside of us, and it is all communication. Sometimes we speak to the group of people, sometimes to the huge, huge uh, group of people, sometimes personal communication, sometimes with different types of ethnicities, and they understand us different, because you maybe understand me even different, because I am Russian, you are maybe from another region, and you maybe don't understand my dialect of Russian language uh, correctly. Dialect it is uh, the way how people speak in English or another language in a specific territory. We have also jargon. Jargon is how people communicate in a specific socio socio-cultural groups. For example, you are a worker on a factory and you communicate, hey dude, can you give me this uh, tool? <laughs> I mean, that uh, this abstract li li literator. And uh, he give you abstract literator. This, uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I, it is self-created words, uh, uh, th this one, abstract, li you understood. And okay, history of uh, creating. History, when it uh, became the more like everywhere talking about uh, it started to be when radio appeared first and also in a way when technology went further because you understand that you can you can kind of uh, how to say it research things you can investigate new things you can dive into like contextualizing things and it became the the science uh, behind it, kind of logical things. We like deconstruct things of our talk, okay? It is all about theory of communication. Next, object. The 
the subject of research methodology of theory of communication communication and talk the questions of of t terminology terminology is different we have communication act we have communication situation for example in in the russian language we mean it communication uh, communication act e communication situation it is uh, how we call it in russian and uh, communication act is a way how we communicate how we send information i'm the adressant you are an adressat. I think that I said it correct one moment. Need to Google it. Ad, ad, adressant. One moment. Need to. Ta, 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 ta. Adressant is. Uh, one moment. It is the communication source. Тот, кто адресует почтовое отправление. Yes, it is the, the sender. Sender of information. Yes. We have adressant. It's me. And you are adressat. When you speak something to me, you are addressant, I'm addressat, okay, in Russian language. And uh, we have specific codification inside of it, decodification, because sometimes you can say, hey dude, can you give me, or, or no, 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 what's up? For someone it will be, what's up, it is kind of, uh, hello, for somebody it will be, how are you? It will be different types of de decodification. It is uh, the same words uh, everywhere. It's kind of semantics inside of it, so what it means. But we use more specific vocabulary to describe these things. And the object and uh, the object of our research in theory of communication is languages, especially languages in some groups of communication between us and our psychology inside of it, our prosody. Prosody, it is how we speak in a different tones. Like when I say to you, hey dudes, how are you doing? Uh, it will be one prosody. When I will sp speak like, hey dudes, how are you doing? It will be another prosody, or maybe, hey dudes, how are you doing? It will be another prosody. It means uh, different types of intonation. Prosody, it is uh, what lore, it is the specific term that learns information about intonation, about poses, about like all types of uh, language inside of uh, paralinguistics. Paralinguistics, what is, what the hell is it? A paralinguistic, it is specific learning of language. We have non-verbal communication, yes, and we have verbal communication, and it learns kind of semi-things, like ish, ish verbal ish, I mean that uh, paralinguistics, it is the language, how it speak, how, how it was spoken, and this, when I say phrases this way, like when I speak them, in a really, I do notes of this. It is a kind of paralinguistics. So you you understand? It is the way how how it speaks. And uh, the subject to what we learn, we have object of research, and also we have more specific object of research of theory communication. It is inside of the communication between us. Like we communicate with people, and we have communication acts, and we learn languages inside of these communication acts. Okay. Next, methodology of theory communication it is uh, the same for everything, like synthesis, uh, inter integration, differentiation, and things like integration, it is when you connect something, synthesis, it is again connect something, it is different types of words to describe it, differentiation, it is when you do kind of opposite things and you see this isolated, like one thing isolated from each other. And uh, communication and talk, this the questions of terminology and uh, we have kind of uh, talk i mean that daily talk it we can see this as communication if we will kind of jesus christ it is act of communication and also we can see this as uh, like uh, s h i t talk i hope you understand like uh, small talk like this but uh, it is, uh, by the way, one more interesting function of small talk we have in real life. It is fatigue, f f fatigue, fatigue, one moment, uh, one moment. It is not a bad word, fatichnost. In Russian language, I mean that uh, it is fatichnost, yes, I think so. It is 
A P H I T Fetic. Let's look at this. Denoting or relating to language used for general purposes or social integration rather than to convey information or ask questions. Utterance such as hello, how are you? It is kind of to connect, small talk, breaking ice. Okay. Next. <laughs> we learned already two questions, good. The connection between theory of communication with another scientific disciplines of humanitary and also mathematics and uh, how to how to say it correctly by the way естественно научный it is kind of mathematics plus uh, one moment uh, it is mathematics natural science natural natural science i hope you you, you know right now natural science connection between it because we have different discourses inside of it with uh, one type of people you will speak in a way of like hey what do you know about the math about the theory of information some of the i don't know what's name of it so I need to translate it множество in russian version in russian language it is uh, what in english in mathematics a set 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 in mathematics it is like we have set of polygons and inside of it we have subset and uh, like small yes subset i think so subset set subset do we have it subset yes 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 we have subsets here here are they like uh, a is a subset of b yes and uh, we can speak about we have a set and we have also subset and uh, in chemistry we will speak like atoms, protons and orbits. But in uh, discourse of uh, astronomy we will speak orbits, but orbits not of the atoms, but orbits of like what everywhere, Jesus Christ. Okay, good. Amazing, we learned it. And about humanitary, the same. We have laws laws of uh, federal federal laws and laws of physics laws of attraction in a kind of b u l l l s h i t literature and uh, <laughs> I, I mean that it's a joke uh, maybe it is truthful law of attraction oh let's let's come to our places the good stuff we speak yes maybe it is working in a way of cognitive psychology because uh, we we are what we think we are what we speak maybe yes um, i really believe in it because uh, it is kind of funny to believe in it and uh, sometimes uh, people speak about it oh it is like conspiracy theories and uh, that's why <laughs> i make fun of it it is it is it doesn't mean that it is better or something it means that i want to make it uh, funnier uh, listening Okay, next. Biology communication uh, and uh, the the difference between communication of animal and the communication of people. First of all, we have different larynxes. Larynx is the thing in our neck that we have. You have one larynx for a cat, you have another for you. You have different sounds of communication there and different communication here. We have different signals, we have different communication like... Who are they? Cock P. I mean the... They, one moment, need to translate it. Pavlin, in Russian language, they are Pavlin Pavo. Pavo, really? Are you joking me? I think that it is another. Pavo is a genius... Ah, genus of two genus of two species in fe pheasant family. The two species along with the Congo peacock. Peacock, yes. Peacock. Peacocks, they communicate through their verbal communication. It is their dances. Like, hey, look at me, babe. I'm dancing here with my, with my tail. And uh, look at me how I communicate with you. It is my proposal for a marriage. And, uh, or maybe not uh, marriage, maybe for sexual communication. Uh, but in, uh, Russian, uh, in Russian things, we communicate different. We don't uh, show our uh, fifth basis to people to show that we want... Sometimes yes, but uh, sometimes when we do kind of sexual communication, then we communicate uh, through through touching each other, kissing and something like this, maybe taking off of 
clothes of uh, our partner yes maybe i don't know M maybe it is the right decision that we, uh, that you can do maybe not because it is all about science it's all relative all things are relative in our world uh, everybody does it different and uh, the difference of communication because they use uh, their types of speech like chip 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 this way and we communicate hello everybody uh, what's new in the whole year in universe? Okay, technical communication. Technical communication in Russian language. It is uh, the technical communication, how we speak it as uh, mathematical languages, the specific symbols we use, specific notations, specific, like, different types of signature that will be understood. Like, more, less, <laughs> equal. More and equal at the same time. Logic and uh, kind of uh, this line. One moment. I need to translate it. Uh, programming logic. Maybe it will be algebra, linear algebra. Maybe you understand that linear algebra. Need to find formulas. Need to find formulas, guys. Like conjunction, disjunction. One moment, maybe we have it. Conjunction and di oh, yes, we have it. Conjunction and disjunction. I forgot what what the hell is everything. Conjunction is uh, one and. Yes, conjunction is a logical and. I hope so. One moment. I may just loading. Really, internet uh, last time is not working well. Yes, conjunction it is uh, and, and uh, disjunction it is. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It is uh, truth table. Do you know truth table? <laughs> it's not a real table, it is truth table! And it is not sacred things. Maybe for somebody it will be sacred, like, oh Jesus Christ! Sacred... Sacred... Sac... 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 I mean, okay. Sack of balls. And uh, so <laughs> sometimes I joke this way because you maybe will understand that I'm not like super science uh, person. Yes, I am. But I can be like you. And I can use words that uh, normal people use. And uh, the, the amount of smart words that goes from a person. It doesn't mean that this person cannot be like you and cannot uh, joke like you. It means that he can. It is his aware decision to be sm maybe smarter or maybe to use smart words or he learned the smart words for some purposes. Some people learn it for pseudo uh, intelligence, some people for real intelligence. And uh, is what is what's the intelligence? We don't know. We can guess. But we don't know. Some people can say that because of uh, neurons they are connected. Some people can say, oh, you speak well, you are intelligent. Or maybe, oh, you draw so like smart. <laughs> when people draw but, uh, good, he, people will not say, oh, you are intelligent, uh, you draw so nice. Uh, they will say, you are creative, uh, oh, you look be uh, you draw beautiful, you are an artist, you are a master of it. Yes? Okay. Social look at communication. What? Social look? I don't know what does it mean. Really, I wasn't preparing this question, but I think that it is about social ranks that we have in our life. Like we have social ranks in our family, and also social rank in your job, and also you have social ranks between communication between you and your colleagues and you and your employer your boss and it's two different many several different communications okay the term of speech 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 act i think so it is понятие речевой коммуникации if we will translate it as term of speech communication what i think that this um, yes it is when we speak, when we speak this way, or we write the message. When you write a message, then you connect through writing, and uh, your adressat has a message from you through reading, through visual things. And uh, when you connect this way, like forward to person, then you speak, they can see you, or they can see you, because you are maybe on a phone, and uh, they do kind of... Oh? 
Jesus Christ, so you speak to me, I analyze your acts. And components of the speech act, need to google it by the way, it will be a kind of... I remember, it is constative, also promissive, also performative. Performative, it is when you say happy birthday to you. And constative, it is when you say specific facts, like constatation of facts. Promissive, it is when you say promises to person. Also, you have uh, manative. Manative, it is in Russian language. Manative, it is when you say kind of threats. Jesus Christ, you will do this one more time. I will do something not really nice for you. I will, I will steal all your cookies. And... Uh, Next, need to remember, need request, requestative, always also have requestative speech act, it means that you have requestative, also quesitive, quesitive when you say questions and you ask someone for questions and also something else, need to google it, it's, it's in the Russian language, речевой act, I googled it before by the way. And here is uh, quesitive, in inyunc inyunctive also, and appellative. It means uh, inyunctive, what the hell. It is when I say to you, you must do this. Without discussion, without any comments, you do this. I'm kind of the person who rules you, inyunctive. Inyunct inyunctive, it is how we speak this way. Also, another way I said already, constative, promissive, menacive, requestive, uh, questive, uh, performative, and appellative. I don't know fully what the what is it, but I think so. It is when we say somebody's name, when we call something by their name, like we say only words, only things that we can imagine. For example, Igor, Fiona, George, Johnny. Sally, Nelly, Fally, Rally, Wally, Wally, and another, Molly. Okay, it is uh, how we call somebody and uh, it is appellative. I don't know why appellative it is called, like some... I have questions because of the origin of a word. I don't know fully. Okay, let's go uh, next. I know, maybe, maybe. Like appell appellative, it means application, maybe, in some way. Appellatse, I don't know. Appellatse, what the hell? Appellatse in Russian version. Appellatse, it is appeal, yes. It is uh, обращение. Ah, it means that uh, like appellatio. Процедура по проверке не вступишь в закон сил судебных актов. Like it is uh, when we call to someone. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But why is it with name okay let's dive next okay we said components the term of non-verbal communication functions in speech act speech communication when we do non-verbal communication it means we use non our uh, we don't use lang a language like we don't speak words we speak our mouth how it opens, different types of mimics, different types of prosody, gestures. Gest uh, prosody means uh, fa mimics and also our gestures. We can use different poses, open poses, closed po poses, like different types of finger styles, because sometimes for one country it will be offensive to say, to, to show this in Australia, in Ir Ireland and also in UK. And so this way will be peace, like, but this will be like uh, middle finger. And uh, it is different types of uh, things like, okay, for some countries will be yes, okay, but for somebody will be, oh, Jesus, I, yesterday I was inside of your home with your, with your sister, and uh, we were doing some communication together on her bed, and uh, like this way. And uh, next <laughs> thing, Inf informat informativity of non-verbal non communication. By the way, she, my teacher, has a typo. Yes, it's not uh, mine, it's not mine really, 
because I I was thinking before like what the hell is it and then I found that it's non-verbal communication and informativity it is subjective it is sometimes you can say oh, really like I I'm inside with the closed pose but maybe maybe I'm here because I'm skeptical maybe I'm here because I my my stomach's kind of Jesus Christ! I ate yesterday two hamburgers and I feel a little bit of sick of them. And uh, maybe it is because of the periods of girls and uh, you feel this way, or maybe you are kind of uh, it's winter time. It's winter time and you are getting cold. Different types of information you can get, and this is super subjective as language too. Next, typology of nonverbal communication. Okay, poses, mimics, faces, gestures, poses again, and uh, also opened, closed, different languages. And uh, you can you can read a book from Alan Peace or Barbara Peace to learn it more. It is like a new language of uh, body language. Yes. Next, verbal communication, specifics of elements of verbal communication. Subject, the person who has information, sorry, information, adressat, the message, code, and contact. Contact is the way how we communicate, it is our channel of communication. Next, subject, it is the person who gives information, adressat. In Russian language, it is the person who receives, receiver. Next, message is something that was told or maybe showed, shown. Like, I was doing waving, it is my message. It is the message that you maybe understand. Ah, by the way, verbal communication. In verbal communication, message only, only this. Only, only speaking words. And code, it is uh, what we understand by these words. Do we understand it correct? Do we use the same semantics? Do we use uh, the same meaning for words? Yes or no? Like orbits. Do you mean orbits? Uh, it is a bubblegum or maybe orbits of uh, planetary system or maybe planetary system of atoms or our space. Okay, again. Next. Typology of Typology of auditorium. I mean that uh, the auditory, auditory, target audi audience, audience, audience in verbal communication. It is uh, different types. I I know what to, s to say about it. It is uh, need to think only like group, personal, and uh, also listener and talker. The person who talks, speaker, I mean, speaker, listener, and they have different roles. Types of uh, communication in verbal communication. Jesus Christ, I don't remember. But uh, need to need to reconnect it. Need to think about it. Uh, types of it. We can ask the same as the same as uh, the this one. A speech act the same. I think so. Like, uh, we can do promises, we can do kind of asking, we can do questioning, we can do answering, we can do requesting, we can do also greeting and uh, congratulating. Intonation as a central point of paralinguistics. Yes, 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 okay. We, ha we can say this way and we can say this way, yes, and we can say, hey, dude. How are you doing? Good? Or not? Yes, uh, it is different types of how we speak. Mimics and gestics. And uh, as elements of nonverbal communication. Okay, I said it already. Tactile, kinesthetic, nonverbal tools of communication. The same thing. It is uh, how we like touch each other, different types of touches, different types of like. Look, you can touch really pinch sound, or you can hold fully like by your hand, or you can do pressing, or you can do kind of hugging, soft, lovely, or maybe tricky, because <laughs> like this way, yes, different types. Poses in 
in a space and dist us yes poses in a dis in a space space mean the position when we are and distance between communicators as elements of nonverbal communication if you are it is psychology if you are like looking to each other so intimate zone also longer longer and uh, a lot longer contact of eyes as a form of nonverbal communication sometimes people hold eyes for three seconds sometimes for two and sometimes more sometimes less sometimes uh, we can wink to each other it is different types of it okay paralinguistica i think that uh, it is all repetition again how long is our video uh, 30 minutes okay paralinguistic as a type of nonverbalic things uh, of nonverbalics paralinguistics as i said before let's let's read uh, how it called in uh, real talk i talked about it before let's take a look what is it i was googling it is uh, the speech the speech place that lures mimics gestures loudness and uh, that's all paralinguistics Para, it means near, near linguistics. System of olfactorics. Olfactorics, do you know what is it? It is uh, when we smell something. One moment, olfactorica. Do you have it in English? I think that yes. Maybe. One moment, need to... Olfactory science, yes. Olfactory science, you have it. Olfactory olfactory yes it means that how you smell something <laughs> jesus christ you stink and uh, dialogues as we as a type of verbal communication types of dialogues we have kind of fatigue dialogue to connect to each other we have questioning we have promising again the same monologues we can do kind of to be or not to be, rhetorical questions we can ask. Sometimes we can do planning, like it is the same monologue. We plan something, we write books. Schizophrenia is here, connecting to us. Okay, <laughs> the term of interpersonal... The term of interpersonal communication. It means that different types of people communicated everybody has their own th their own inner inner experience uh, types of experience okay the the speech behavior in different uh, interpersonal communication the same almost like we can act different because we have different experiences it is shortly the same i will talk th about this First questions are more important one. This one it is kind of specific, 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 and uh, that's all. Okay, the term of communication situation we we said about it. Communication situation it is uh, like we have communicative act, and communication situation it is inside of it. It's rules of this communication act. We have communication act like we speak to each other. Hey dudes, how are you doing? And communication situation it is when we speak maybe on a. It is. A prompt I mean that specific situation we are maybe on a ship on a Titanic on the Titanic or maybe we are together in prison and we talk about it it is different situations when we can speak and uh, communicate communicative communicative situation it is uh, the same like we have different communication when we can connect to each other maybe someone is working right now and i do kind of hey how are you doing and uh, he is working and he can say different words because he is working the term of group communication typology of groups typology of groups it is commons or maybe it is group of uh, like students maybe they will learn something together they have different types of 
commons. They have different types of wantings. They want one thing to achieve, they want another thing to achieve. It all depends on their results that they want. They are maybe connecting to each other because it is a religion group, or maybe they are connecting because they want to study things, or they want to earn money, or they want to do... It is uh, different goals of them. And different types. It will be clubs of people. It will be maybe commons. Com I mean, team, 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 team. In, in English, it is team. In Russian, we call it commanda. And uh, it will be maybe a team, basketball team, or maybe team for, for scientific researchers, scientists. Or maybe it is a show when they speak to each other. Different types of groups. Okay. The... Professional communication as a, as a type of uh, interpersonal and group communication. It is the same, like we, we are in a company and company has different types of uh, dealings that they do. I need a water, guys. Skip 30 seconds and I will be here. 30 seconds. And we will continue. I'm here, almost, because my water is kind of going away, and when I don't have a lot of water, I feel kind of, oh, Jesus Christ, where is my speech ability? Next, okay, we are here, we are alive. <laughs> Let's go, next. Communicate the structures of uh, group communication. Okay, let's think about it. Communicative structures. It means that we can communicate with different... Ah, it is about like psychology inside of groups. Someone is sitting, someone is leading, someone kind of... Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know what to do. And uh, they think different. And someone is a generator of ideas. Someone is working alone. Someone like, uh, I'm a leader. I, I want to show off myself. Someone is doing this way. And someone is uh, doing kind of, yes, need to calculate. Someone is super supportive. Yes, I support your idea. And uh, if someone has idea, I will, I will support him. And uh, different types of roles and structures inside of it we have. And also the term of mass communication, structure and typology of mass communication. Mass communication is the same as for group, no, but for a bigger one. Like in, in mass media, it is for uh, like huge masses. Everybody understands different. Everybody is kind of, uh, it is really another type. I mean that uh, term, it is for groups, maybe 20 plus, 20 plus people. When you communicate for all people and you can't communicate to each other, you can't deal with short time of uh, communication with someone. Only with, uh, with mass things. And structure of it, everybody thinks different, everybody can go, and everybody has their meaning inside of their minds. And uh, communicate, but in the same time, they think as a huge organize, organism, because of uh, when you speak to the masses, then they kind of sometimes scare to what another people think about them and they do support and then they can really be support because jesus christ they all speak this kind of supportive things it means that we, oh, i should too because this kind of it's true it's right to do applauding yes and communicative competency of uh, per of of language personality it means that uh, we have language personality. He has different, different words that he, he can speak. And when he communicate with each other, he uses different phrases. For example, uh, for example, someone is your friend. Yes, I imagine. Maybe Holly is uh, his name. Holly goes to Molly and uh, Holly asks, Hello, how are you? And in the same time, Molly can say different words she say she she says maybe good morning how was your day how is your day they speak this way i mean that it is the same semantics but they use different languages 
I hope you understand. One said, uh, Holly said, hello, how are you? And another, good morning, how is your day? And meanings are the same, because they have different, per different language personality. And someone ha can say, hey, what's up? I said it uh, already before. And uh, the same, they use the same words, but for different reasons. In Russian, we can say swear words a lot and uh, people will understand you. The same in English. When you say something as S-I-H-I-T, you mean it as a thing th sometimes. Good thing. Or maybe not really good thing. Because uh, it all depends on your prosody, on your uh, paralinguistic, and uh, on your paralinguistics and uh, on your also maybe determinators. I mean that article of the, article of A, and context. Okay. The term of effective communication. The communication will be effective when everybody gets what they want from communication. The term of feedback in communication. It is when you say something about somebody. It is kind of good feedback. You say good words, then you can say what need to improve, and then you finish kind of uh, wh uh, everything is fine, guys. <laughs> it is uh, kind of effective uh, feedback. Communicative roles in uh, personal personal uh, languages. I mean that uh, language language personality. Communicative roles in language personalities. It is uh, the same, speaker and listener. And also they have different, uh, when they pick different roles, like you are a listener, you use one type of vocabulary. When you are a speaker, use different type of vocabulary in your real life. You understand it. When you kind of listen, you ask sometimes, you kind of nodding, you sometimes speaking about your things too, but you are not like a leading person. The speaker is a person who leads the dialogue sometimes. Yes, mostly, always. Always the person who speaks, he leads till the listener will go away <laughs> or maybe they will end their communication act. Okay? And, okay, communicating roles, we spoke about it, and so you have different types of languages for a role of a speaker and for a role of a listener. Next, socio-cultural situations and roles of personal, of language personality inside of them. Socio-cultural, it means that you are the the Englishman, I am a Russian man, and we communicate to each other. And inside of it, we also have speaker and listener. And you will be different in it as, for example, for your own... Like, I mean, I imagine. You're an Englishman, I am a Russian man. We communicate to each other together right now. And you have your own role inside of it. You have your own role of listener, not the same as you use for another Englishman, not a Russian man. With Russians, you will speak another way than with English men, because you have different types of acclimatization. Acclimatization it is when you will dive into, again, your back back to your field and the same you will communicate if you are good at writing with writers you will speak in their type of communication if you are good at uh, maybe <laughs> what engineering you will speak different too. okay good non-conflict non-conflict interpersonal communication it is when the communication is effective and uh, when communication is effective for both sides, it means non-conflict. And uh, types of, I mean that priznaki, it means, I don't know what's the name of it in, uh, I think need to Google. It is kind of the first sayings, signs, signs, evidences, signs of conflict in interpersonal communication. When you see that, um, need to think about it. 
Science it is kind of uh, when you are kind of disagree, when you want to say no to another person. It is kind of the beginning of conflict. If no means really no, not like a no. No, you are not right. No, not this way, but no, I don't agree with you like this way. And uh, it means that uh, already you have kind of conflict. And conflict could be solved in a way of win-win situation or maybe win and uh, a little bit of win or maybe win and a little bit of win or maybe win-win-win or maybe lose-lose or maybe win-lose, win-lose, different types. And uh, you can learn it through the diagram. I forgot what's his name. It is... Uh, one moment. Conflictologia. Tologia diagramma. One moment, I will find it. You maybe know it. One moment. Uh, ustupka there should be. Ustupka. One moment. Ustupka. One moment. Yes, this one. This one, uh, this one, this one. What's the name of it? Межличностные стили разрешения конфликтов. What's the name? I know, I know. Who who is the inventor of this thing? I remember. Someone is cre someone created this. Someone created this. Conflictology. Diagram. I remember it. Uh, okay. Okay, someone is created. It means that sometimes you have compromises, sometimes you have kind of negotiating, sometimes you have collaboration and things of this nature. Next. Uh, interpersonal and group communication in so-so cultural aspect. And home communication. Look. In such a cultural aspect, it means that you can communicate with personal, with person, <laughs> different types of psychology inside of it. You you have like you are like a macho and she's kind of cute girl, and uh, in different sorts of cultural aspect, she's a cute girl engineer, and you are macho of uh, like. <laughs> you are a showman, and uh, we you communicate different types because it is interpersonal and the say in the same time it is different sorts of cultural aspect and the same for group communication inside of the group you have different types of people maybe they are from different experiences and need to dim build them till this moment they will maybe do kind of a little bit of conflicts before they will use the same semantics the same vocabulary to understand each other. Conflict doesn't mean that they will fight to each other. It means they that they will do kind of Jesus Christ non-effective things. Sometimes, maybe. And uh, the home communication in Russian it is бытовая коммуникация means that you communicate in uh, at home with your parents, siblings, maybe with someone you know a lot and you already know something by some words but sometimes they can mean different because you meant another and you said some phrases and they already mean for you another phrase and it's kind of jesus christ what did you mean by it and uh, okay professional corporate communication is the same for this professional communication national specifics of acts of communication the term of lang language based big picture of the world some people watch at uh, look at our world as it is hollow hollow disk some people can watch as it is planetary and by it they have different statements what they mean by the words because they use different logics of uh, words, they use different logics of how it goes, okay? And national specifics, it means that uh, they have different uh, types of what is considered to be good, what is considered to be not really nice, and it's all about stereotypes, mostly. 
Theory of Sapir Whorf, Hypothesis ling of Linguistics Relativeness in Communication Aspect. It is interesting thing that everything is subjective and relative, and we can look at things with uh, synchronology, I think so, and diochronology. Diochronology it is in the meaning of history, and synchronology it means in the meaning of current moment at things, and uh, it is relativeness first. Next we can look through the places when we are, through the positions where are we, and uh, through different types of languages that we use. Someone can say that it is more productive to use this type of words than this, and uh, different types of relativeness between people. And good, 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 good thing. It is like the same for relativeness of Einstein. Stereotypes of acts and behaviors in intercultural communication. Okay, the same as I said before, like Chinese people can spit on on the floor. It will be good for them. And you can maybe I forgot what's the name of it. In Russian language it is regat. It is when you do uh, after burp. Sometimes you can burp after eating and it will be a compliment for a chef. In our country, it will be not really nice. It it will be maybe nice if you are in a way of socio-cultural group that will be kind of that will accept it. Like in America, maybe it will be rednecks or someone I don't know. <laughs> like people from ranches and they <laughs> do sounds of frogs burping. And uh, for someone, it will be the stereotypes of. Uh, Interpersonal and group communication. The same. We have uh, a kind of, oh, Jesus Christ, he holds his hands. It means he is in a closed pose. Maybe not. Okay. And uh, the same with different poses. Maybe it is his habit that he got used to it. The term of lingua culturiemi. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know. Need to Google. Really? Really? What the hell? It is dialects. What? One moment I will read it and I will try to translate to you. Complex, different levels, point show that shows dialects connection of linguistics and extra linguistics. That means mini and previous the same. And uh, ah, языковое представление так и тесно связано с ней в ней языковую культурную среду. Ага, uh -huh. I think that I kind of understand. It is kind of dialects. It is dialects inside of the social communication. It means that uh, in a specific territory it will be good. In, in the same language it will be good to use these words. For example, if you are from a village place, it will be nice, maybe good for uh, different people around you to use kind of uh, a redneck vocabulary. Yes, and for uh, another regions it will be not really nice. And this, this lingo culturema, it is, uh, means that for different places, uh, different meanings. It is the, the same almost meaning with dialects. Okay, the term of acculturization and lingua cultural shock in intercultural communication. It means that when you go to another country, then you can connect with other people. And you will be kind of occult. You will be inside of this culture. It means that you will try to learn things. You will try to understand how this culture works. And uh, firstly, you maybe will have uh, lingua cultural shock because you are not get used to this. 
you are you you are not got you are not uh, getting used to it got used to it i don't know what's uh, what language this okay last last i think that so soon will be last we are talking 45 minutes already communicative barriers and uh, typology communicative barriers uh, because of the Non-verbal communication, verbal communication, because of the social status, because of the different, uh, different understanding of words, different experience, different even looks and intonation, prosody and things of this nature. Forms of communication, talk, management and подражание, it means, what? It means uh, kind of, uh, need to translate, imitation. Imit imitation it is when you are in another place and you kind of learn through imitation of others management it means you kind of control things and you request something in uh, specific uh, parameters and talk it means daily talk okay aggressive as a type of verbal communication when you are when you don't agree you are kind of not a smart person that use aggressive it means that you use specific emotional states and physiology physiology states that you speak louder that you have a, like повелительное uh, one, one, one moment it means imperative imperative uh, tone and things of this nature okay the term of communication equilibrium <laughs> Equ equilibrium it means that you are r the same you have the same rights you respect to each you respect each other and you try to explain words and if you don't have this terms that people have that you have tolerance and you share them your vocabulary and what you mean by it Etiquettes, formulas uh, of language and their communicative functions. It means uh, sometimes in your language you can uh, communicate through... I will say right now. It is... Uh, may I ask you where you're from? May I ask you how to sit down? Would you like... Or maybe, hey, cup of coffee. <laughs> like, you can say, cup of coffee. Uh, or you can say, would you like to drink this? Or, may I ask you this? Or, how, ca how may I ask you how may i name you how may i call you i mean that's uh, something like may using a lot in english and in russian it is kind of как я могу к вам обращаться что вы понимаете под этим it is using like super super techniques uh, formal language etiquette and uh, what do you mean by it and not like a, you are not right maybe you meant this yes okay the term of communication time and communicative uh, communicative space communicative space you mean it means that you are in different types of uh, locations you i mean that you are in a specific terms of location here like we are located in intimate distance distance uh, bigger or maybe you are connecting with different dialects it means th sociocultural space and uh, Time means in this term, it means uh, syn synchronia, idiochronia in Russian language. Again, synchronia and diachronia. It is uh, Russian terms. As I said before, synchronia, it means in this current moment it's happening. And diachronia in a way of uh, history, historical things. The term of code in a theory of communication process of code uh, coding you kind of what the what the code it is the semantics that you apply for specific things and uh, process you heard it somewhere you imitate it you use it or you don't imitate it you use opposite or you use natural or something may, maybe you like this person he said it and you use uh, uh, use the same if you don't like this person sometimes you can use opposite for the opposite it means that you will go not natural you will go even more f opposite to this uh, meaning it means coding different and process of decoding it is this, the next question process of decoding and uh, the term of communicative uh, like uh, meaning 
it means that uh, you have the meaning of communication meaning of communication where it goes what you want why do you speak this you need a support you need to maybe to solve a problem you need to know something to solve another problem you need to, to solve another case or something a decoding means that you speak with a person and you try to understand what people meant decoding decode means uh, m creating another code by code of another person using a key okay next last typology of uh, of messages in verbal communication Typ typology again it is asking greeting promising okay promissive minisive minisive it means threaty constative it means facts also uh, requitive it means that uh, asking for something quetitive 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 I mean that uh, a lot of things performative <laughs> and I said it about it before okay I'm ready I kind of ready I understand this uh, this talks all what uh, maybe need to learn it is kind of uh, the correct usage of terms not correct but kind of uh, make it more sustainable that's all everything else I understand good 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 Jesus Christ yes safe and Jesus Christ we ended guys one hour one hour of preparing for this exam Jesus I mean that uh, it is kind of interesting but so so subjective super subjective terms really mega subjective and we understand because maybe it is kind of new in our language and the super subjective not fully information and to make it less subjective it is need to find need to have more examples need to learn this 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 read more yes and uh, i will understand it uh, better like tomorrow it will be better day after tomorrow every day that we learn our world we understand topics that we spo have spoken before better every day so thank you a lot for watching this video thank you for your support it was good to speak to you one hour one hour maybe not everybody watched it full maybe even uh, not everybody maybe skipped it's okay it's okay guys it is only documentation of my progress maybe it will be useful for someone maybe not maybe yes because this type of inf this type of information on internet you will not find a lot because everybody not everybody but mostly mostly people speak about uh, what uh, inside of their lives and kind of uh, not super scientific stuff and not super uh, art inside of the art stuff but uh, these topics are not so big it means that uh, supply is not really huge and the same with the demand of this topics in the terms of economy so thank you a lot for watching see you next time and improve so daily go forward to your dreams everything will be fine and with me too i will accomplish today yes after three hours see ya good day